What is notable about the Greek reform plan is that for the first time Athens put its defence budget on the table for discussion. Now that provoked an immediate response from the NATO chief who warned against any drastic reductions. Greece is uh, among the allies which uh, spends more than 2% and I uh, expect uh, that uh, all allies will meet the pledges uh, we made in, uh, in Wales and those who are above 2% shall uh, remain uh, above uh, 2%. Well, currently, the Greek defence budget stands at 2.4% of the country's GDP. That's the second highest among NATO members after the US. Also, the nation has the largest percentage of military personnel to population of any EU country. And Germany is its biggest European arms supplier. Investment expert John Butler explains why Greece has threatened to cut its military spending now. I think there are multiple possible explanations for why the defense budget is now being placed on the table uh, by Greece. They're trying to say, well, look, if we're all serious about coming to an agreement, we have to accept the fact that some of the terms may not be beneficial for Germany or France or other countries, but you know, we're all in this together, perhaps to some extent, is the signal there. Greece and other European uh, members of NATO have been under pressure for years by the United States to increase defense spending. Uh, and also the UK has put pressure on other European countries to step up to the plate. So that's another possible reason why Greece has held back um, up to this point from suggesting that they should in fact cut the defense budget when there's been pressure coming from the United States uh, to increase the defense budget.